in day four let's see that what requirement i can fulfill so first requirement i'm going to fulfill that so let's say that the button or uh, the requirement let's understand first so create a button called close my incident on the incident form so that when user click on the button incident will be resolved or closed with correct resolution code this ui action only visible on new state and created by user so basically the requirement is that i should have create a button on the incident form called close my incident and then when somebody click on that uh, so what we have to do we can um, resolve the incident and then uh, once it is resolved the it has to be set some resolution code static code and then this ui action will be visible on the new state so first on the object what method or what object we should use we should use the ui action object and then method in this case uh, we can do the glide record or else i will use the current method i'll discuss that uh, what is current uh, in uh, in a bit okay so let's uh, implement that in my personal service now instance so before uh, you implement this solution first go to this ui action table under this ui action you will be able to see a lot of ui action is available first search with the table name equal to incident and see what all incident uh, ui action is available so you can see i have around 31 uh, uh, ui action which is running on the uh, uh, incident table basically now you need to find out that any uh, related ui action is already exist if it already exists that in related incident then you unnecessarily don't need to create that or can you modify that existing uh, ui action then you can do that let's say that i'm going to create a new a new uh, development so what i'll do i'll click the new button and meantime i will open that incident um, in in the next step so let let's say that i am opening this uh, this incident at that moment so let me open that incident so let's say that what state we have we have that new in progress on hold resolve cancel so i am going to create a button called cancel instead of the requirement that you guys give me that close my incident instead of close my incident i am going to create a button called cancel and this cancel button will be visible only who created by and then definitely in the new state so the cancel button will be visible only on the new state and then the cancel button will be uh, visible on whoever is created the incident to that user only okay and then when somebody click that button called cancel this uh, uh, you know the state incident state should be updated to the cancel state so that's the requirement i'm going to fulfill so first say that in this uh, under this ui action what a table i have to select the table name uh, um, is already selected now i have to put the name so let's say that i am putting the name whatever name i am going to put that the same name will be visible here you guys already know so i am putting that the cancel incident fine under that we have to define the order and then action action name if you want to put you put otherwise leave that at the moment this is not use case for us now during uh, the insert or update i should show no um, i i only should um, show the button only update and then where this button should be visible i'm saying that this button should be visible on the form i'll check that and then here i'm going to write the code the first code is the condition i have to define that on the condition um, on which condition this button will be visible the first condition is that current dot state what will be the state so the state will be one means that uh, in the new state this button will be visible okay what does it mean by current current means that where this ui action is that right now present that record okay or maybe that object and then we can dot work to that any particular field so let's say that if this button will be visible here then current mean that this record okay and then i can access any of this record field let's say the state impact urgency i can put or i can get any of these okay so fine i mentioned that the current dot state equal to one under the condition so it means that um it means that this button whatever button i am going to create that button will be only visible whenever the state is one if the state is in progress or other this button won't be visible 
So let's create that button first. So the button is created with this condition current dot state equal to one. The current we used only for the server side script. So at that moment, this UI action is the server side. If you want to make this UI action in the client side, then you have to check this client call level option check. Now under the incident form, if I refresh that, my button should be visible on the new state. And you can see cancel incident button is visible at that state is one. If I change this state to two and then save that, this button won't be visible. And you can see the button is not visible. Again, I'm moving back to that new state. And you can see the button is again visible. Now, what is the criteria here? It's saying that so whenever I click the button, it should uh, close or maybe cancel at that our case, and then it should set some static value. All right. So if we go back here, so if we want to change this state to cancel, none of these fields are actually mandatory. You can see, although the requirement says that I should set some value, so I'll change this close note somewhere that. This is closed by uh, the um, open by user or something like that. So, fine. To to by clicking this button, I should update the state, right? So what I'll do here, I need to write the code. So what I'll write that the current dot state here. I need to put the state value of the cancel. Cancel value is the eight. So I'll put that eight. Okay. So it means that uh, this is going to be set that current dot state equal to a. The value is going to be set there, and then I'm trying to set that uh, a resolution code. So let's say this is a field name called close note. I'm going to set that all current dot field name here. I can put any static value. So let's say that I'm going to say that closed by. Uh, and then I, if I want to populate that any of these at that moment, I can populate, but I'm not going to that details at that moment. I'll say that closed by uh, opened by user, something like that. So I'm just putting simple keyword static at that moment. I can put the username, but I'm not putting at that moment. Uh, um, okay. Let's save that uh, uh, at that moment. I'll just save that and then uh, what we are trying to do we are trying to update the record so we'll put that current dot um, update method here okay so if we put the current dot update the record will be got updated and then if you want to uh, show this row so I'm not putting the condition call it should be only visible to that um, um, particular logged in user you can put that like and and then current dot uh, open by like that equal to then put the gs dot get user id but that stage i have not reached so i'm not trying to put that at that moment okay fine um in the under the required roles if you want to specify any role you can just specify that okay and then just simply uh, save that at that moment so let's refresh this uh, form and then uh, here this button is visible right now and then this is the resolution node if we click cancel uh, incident this incident has to be cancelled so you notice that once i click the cancel button it is redirecting to the other page right so it is redirecting to basically to another page we can discuss that um, later because we have not reached that stage yet. Uh, after uh, clicking that button, the state got cancelled and here the resolution code is populated, hard coded. We can put that um, you know, uh, other code to stay on the same page, but we have not reached on that point at that moment. So that's it for today. Thank you very much. Keep posting your uh, requirement into my, my sheet. Um, like here you can pull as I mentioned that you can um, put your requirement under this requirement sheet you can put your requirement. So thank you very much. Have a great day.